The NBA is literally a league of giants. Hall of Fame center Yao Ming is 7'6 and could dunk while barely jumping. Sean Bradley was the second pick of the loaded 1993 draft despite not having a discernible basketball skill, mostly because due to 7'6. And the NBA's tallest active player, Boban Marjanovic, is 7'3 and makes other NBA centers look like Danny DeVito standing next to Arnold in the movie Twins. But that doesn't mean regular sized guys can't make an impact on the league. Calvin Murphy, Tim Hardaway, Kemba Walker, to name three, are all sub six footers who carved out long careers and made at least one all star team. Nate Robinson won three NBA dunk contests despite standing only 5'9. And the Celtics' little ticket, Isaiah Thomas, is second in the league in scoring this season at 29 points per game and is a second tier MVP candidate while also being the shortest active player. There have been plenty of basketball players who've been able to overcome their height disadvantage to excel in the league, but no one's career was more improbable or impressive than that of Tyrone Muggsy Bogues. Bogues is the shortest player in NBA history at only 5 feet 3 inches tall, which would make him a full 2 inches shorter than the second shortest player ever, Earl Boykins. With the average player height at 6'7", he was regularly facing almost a foot and a half height disadvantage. For perspective, Bogues is shorter than Tom Cruise, Justin Bieber, and the average family size refrigerator. Despite this, Muggsy enjoyed a standout prep career at Dunbar High School and was named MVP of his team while running alongside three other future NBA players. He then went on to Wake Forest where he would set the ACC all-time record for career assists and steals. Muggsy would be drafted 12th in the 1987 draft by the Washington Bullets and teamed up with the NBA's tallest player at the time, Manute Bowl, making for some unique photo opportunities. Muggsy ran the point for 14 years at four different stops, but really made a name for himself in the mid-90s with those iconic teal-clad Charlotte Hornets teams that featured Alonzo Mourning and Larry Johnson. At his peak, Bogues averaged close to 11 points with 10 assists and an astounding 4 rebounds per game. From 1990 to 1994, only John Stockton collected more assists than Bogues, who was able to take advantage of his diminutive size to sneak into the paint and create scoring opportunities for teammates down low. Unlike most shorter guards today who rely on a three-point stroke to stay on the court, Bogues didn't have any efficient long ball in his arsenal, averaging less than half a three-point attempt per game while connecting on only 26% of them. Instead, he survived in the league with crafty ball handling and smart passes, and he had a knack for sneaking into the crevices on the court like a water bug, finding creative ways to squeak shots past a thicket of long limbs. Defensively, Muggsy was a pest, like a mosquito buzzing around while you're trying to sleep, able to steal the ball away from guys who would lose sight of the flighty guard. Muggsy never made an all-star team and only appeared in five playoff runs during his career, but he was an NBA star nonetheless. He starred in his own soda commercial and even made a cameo in the iconic Michael Jordan film Space Jam. He was a fan favorite, especially with kids who were able to relate to the only NBA player that they could see eye to eye with. And consider the fact that you know his name, even though he played for mostly average teams and has been retired for over 15 years. When he hung them up in 2001, Muggsy had amassed 6,858 points and 6,726 assists, good for 20th all-time, ahead of point guards like Kevin Johnson, Baron Davis, and Tony Parker. Bogues didn't have a Hall of Fame career on the court, but the fact that he had a career at all proves that in the NBA, while size matters, it's but a small part of the game. I really never thought about my height. Other people see me as 5'3". I just see myself as a person and not really uh, any height. I just play my game and just play the best way I know how. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to hit like or subscribe to help this channel grow. Or watch some of my other videos linked above. Thanks.